Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Grapevine, Texas and we are going to Meow Wolf. Now there are four of these installations and I have been to now all four of them and I'm here with Riley and my dad. This is going to be an exciting adventure. Let's go inside. Okay, we picked up some glasses and this is gonna make the experience even more exciting. After we came in, we ended up getting the glasses or a couple extra bucks, but they really changed the experience. I learned about these in Santa Fe and I've gone through Santa Fe once with and once without. I definitely encourage you guys to just get the glasses. They change everything. And so this is about to be really cool. I, I love that at each one of the Meow Wolves, they have a different central focus and they always try to look into the people of that area and talk about them a little bit. And so this is very cool, talking about the indigenous people of this area. Now, you guys see this just like normal and flat like walls, but if with the glasses, it actually makes these look like they pop out just a little bit from the wall. And so they look like they're just kind of floating out in the room a little bit. Now, believe it or not, we're not even into the actual portion of the big stuff yet. This is just the walkway in and it's already so incredible. sitting in this camper van and the story of Meow Wolf starts to come to life. Each one of the locations has its own individual story, like a, a thing that you can solve. And here they have all of these clues about this man named Lucius. Now, I'm not going to follow along the story and break anything for you guys, but there's some big clues in here as to who Lucius is. And the worlds start to kind of collide a little bit and really put into the perspective. It's pretty cool. Okay, we're going back through the refrigerator into this other room. We can go through the washer and dryer. Well, where is she going? Let's see. Yeah, I put some laundry in earlier. Let's see if she can find me. Let's see some socks. There's a lot of socks. Oh, how trippy! I fell on you. It's okay. Ow. 
I got a little bit of carpet burn. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> what? We came out of a washer and into a magic land. Hey Riley. Yeah. We're sitting inside of a tree right now. Yeah, I know. Isn't this neat? It's a tree house library. library. They're so books. cool. There's a few of them that are actually loose, oh, you like can this actually one. Read books. Yeah. Like these They're are funny. These are actually real books. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Dad is going upstairs. There's a place that's downstairs that I also want to check out that I found a while ago that looks like it had a hall of mirrors. This looks like a strawberry. I mean, this is wild. Every turn has something interesting. You know this reminds me of when we went to the Denver Meow Wolf. Remember we had that picture? Yes. I'm a little conflicted. There's so many directions. I just went in here. So cool. Um, this direction looks very different, but there's still more to explore in that direction. And we lost dad. We just lost dad. Okay, I found my dad, but now I've lost Riley. Where is Riley? I texted her, but it could be a minute before we find her again. Ooh, we're in the house again though, and there's some clues for the story. And then if we go into the fireplace, it takes us back to the aquarium room. That's kind of cool. Dad has a computer that he's working with. It's giving some clues. We got this. So here? And then I'll tell you where I ended up, but I was like, I don't know how I got here. Ooh, this is cool. Look at this. Oh, there's locks on the walls. Oh, it's staring at me. <laughs>
One big eraser. Twisted, we're turned, we don't know where we're going. This is like a maze of fun. Oh my goodness. Now we're above the city. There's a bathtub. With coins in there. Yeah, okay. Okay, where are we going to end up next? Oh, everything is just kind of going weird. This must be whatever it turned into the unreal, which is all of that. What is this guy and why is he in the toilet? And why is he carrying like little clues from all the rooms? This is like from the cloud room. And then we're back in the house again. Interesting. Okay, so some of the creatures kind of look like these, which is kind of interesting. So the ocean is a big deal. Real encyclopedias, fake encyclopedias? Yeah, they're real. Ah, cool. Right? Okay, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'll be good. What is that, a genie? Yeah. Oh, I forgot that the door opens. <laughs> 
Yeah. What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I feel like we got lost at least a couple of times. I definitely did, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. I was trying to find you, and I went through a couple tunnels thinking, oh, it'll just round the circle. And then I just... Died. Got lost. On the inside. On the inside. And I was like, I'll never find them. Did we lose my dad again? He went that way. Okay. Another piano. Ooh. Oh gosh, this is a crawl zone. Okay, this is cool because it's interactive. So you place the bug, you place whichever one of these that you want on this little thing and then something happens. So we're gonna wait till dad gets in here and then we're gonna look at these. Okay, she's putting it on. This one. Okay. So to get here, we had to crawl under and into this little spot in the house and then it's it's really low and then we came out here in this little room with all these little bugs now there's a portal that we can crawl through here oh, or we can take the elevator which seems to be an experience in itself we're trying to find our way back to the refrigerator room riley said she'd be right here um she is in fact not right here we don't want to get lost again Ha! Okay, here we go. And let's see. We came in through this one right here. This one, Dad. This is the one we came through. This is the one we haven't been in. It's the one with the ice cream. Oh, how fun! Okay, we just wrapped up inside and now we're going through and looking at this little screen. It was occupied when we came through the first time, but it shows you all of the different creatures, tells you about where they're located, who the artists were, who created what, and it shows you kind of a overall expansion of the property so that you can find different things. And I really love this because it helped us to make sure that we saw everything. But as we're going through here, the pictures are just amazing. So I definitely encourage you guys to stop and check this out. Like this right here, it shows you the individual creatures that are in the section and you can see kind of where they're located so you can find them. And each one of those creatures has some significance to the story. So it's pretty neat. And um, this, is, this is even more cool. You can find all of the artists and click on them and find out what they did and also, kind of a little bit more by hitting the QR. So this is very cool. I think that Meow Wolf is a great thing for a lot of reasons. For one, we get to come here and we get to play and live in a world of fantasy, which I think is great. But also I think it's awesome because artists like these don't often have a place where they can expand for the public to come and roam through and play and stuff like that. So it's really cool to be able to see everything that they have done broken down into detail and just how many people it takes to make a place like this happen. So overall, will I come back to Meow Wolf? Yeah, absolutely. There's going to be another one opening in Houston very soon. So I'll have to get down there. And whenever I do, I'll take you guys with me. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. And uh, today was definitely, definitely a good time. I, I highly recommend finding a Meow Wolf. Santa Fe, Denver, Vegas, Grapevine, Texas. Till next time guys, bye.